All right, guys, I didn't mean for this to sound, I don't mean for this to sound as cheesy as it's about to sound right now whenever I was thinking about what I was gonna say. But what I am gonna say is let's keep this rock train rolling. Like rock and, you, you know, roll it, you know. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third, y'all guys' third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Now, the last couple of videos in a row have been rock, and I'm glad that I got these requests because I've been wanting to expand. But now that now that Patreon basically allowed me to go full time on YouTube, I say it all the time, but Patreon allowed me to go full time. So that means I could expand these genres, the type of music that we make reactions to without watering down the quality of the reaction. And because of that, this reaction right here is no different. This is this is While She Sleeps by Antisocial, and this comes from a Patreon request from Atreos. It's either Atreos or Atreos. I don't know how it's pronounced. But yo, I appreciate your subscription, and I appreciate you allowing me to do more rock because I've been meaning to get to it. And, and, and so far, I've been pretty impressed with the rock that I've heard, so I hope that this is no different. Again, I'm not, I'm not really someone that listens to rock on a very regular basis. I do know a lot of rock, but I don't have a lot in my, in my rotation. So I actually have never heard of this band either. Just like I had never heard of Ginger, I've never heard of Antisocial. So we're gonna just hop right in into it because I'm excited. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at The Third Ernest, just like the channel. The links are down in the description below. And we got While She Sleeps. Let's get it. I fuck with this right here. I fuck with this kind of man. I fuck with this this sound from from the rock genre. Like yo, that head banging mixed with that hair, psh, iconic already. I won't be nervous when everybody around us says God, we don't deserve this and begs before they accept our fate. I want the world, but I'm not prepared to work for a change. I think I'd rather be dead. Bro, it's dope how like I don't know if they I don't know if they're trying to convince me that this is a one take a one take music video so far the way we just like switched into that other scene that's called a whip pan so I don't know if there's a cut hidden in there because normally whenever like the movie 1917 in case you haven't seen it it's all supposed to resemble one long take but they had they hide the cuts within whip pans and within darkness in the image so I think that there was a cut right there but I can't say for certain but I like the sound of the track I like the I like the whispering like. Don't. Hold up, I'm gonna look at the lyrics real quick, just so that way I can have them so I don't have to keep going back and I won't be nervous when everybody around us says, God, we don't deserve this and begs before they accept our fate. I want the world, but I'm not prepared to work for a change. I think I'd rather be dead. Bro, those lyrics are deep. I won't be nervous when everybody around us says, God, we don't deserve this and begs before they accept our fate. Like, it's, this is the fate that, we, that we've that we come to. Like, th we've sowed these seeds. Now we gotta reap what we sow. And it says, I want the world, but I'm not prepared to work for a change. I think I'd rather be dead. Like, how can you complain about the fate that that you're that you're receiving but you didn't do anything to work to change that fate bro again you can see that on a political level you can see that on a you can see that on a national like in united states america level you can see that on a personal level just there's a, there's a lot that you can take from from rock lyrics that people don't realize I'm not anti-social, I'm anti-bullshit, bro. That's dope. And, and and just like right what they're showing you right there, like like the, the kids getting bullied and everybody's just looking looking to the side, looking away, like out of sight, out of mind. And even from just this one scene, if I had to get what they're going toward, it's like this kid gets bullied and then goes and shoots up a school because he has all that anger and rage from within. And then we cry about we cry about what happens from that the, that the bully kid did, but we didn't do anything at the beginning to stop the bullying, which would have which would have effectively stopped what came. Like we cry that we don't deserve this, but we don't do anything to change our fate, you know? Bro, 
This video is dope. It's like it's like all shot in the studio and they're like showing you the different scenes within within like normal white collar America. Yo, fire. And they say you're going to follow like a freelance sucker of the next biggest trend and I think that's what this pig is here for in this scene like in the mood like in the book Animal Farm. You're just eating up what what's being served to you instead of actually free thinking on your own. How the hell am I supposed to know where only human is a valid excuse? For what my mind's polluted, do you want the truth or do you want to assume it? Bro, those lyrics are like, do you want to actually know the truth or do you want to just assume the truth that, that, that what's being told to you is truth because that's an easier pill to swallow. Like you feel like your fate is not in your hands. So you're just assuming this when really your fate and your decision making is all your own, but you don't want to hear that you're potentially making the wrong decision or you don't want to, you don't want to have to put work in to doing what's right. So you just assume the other way and you just follow the masses. Bro, these lyrics are, these lyrics are deep. Bro, and then look, this is like it's like they're it's like like they're saying like they're making a political or they're making an observational stance of society whenever whenever they have this scene right here. It's like they're learning from their devices on their phone instead of learning what's being taught. But even what's being taught is, is, is systematically it's like programming it's programming people to fall in line with a certain line of thinking. That's what a lot of people say, especially in the creative industry, that the educational system it all it, it like boxes it boxes free thinking minds into thinking in a certain way. I can see that argument. I do think that certain things need to be taught in a certain way like mathematics engineering reading like there's certain things that need to be taught in the way that they are but when it comes to the amount of creativity somebody has letting somebody identify everything about themselves creatively and what they can do with their mind it, it does seem like it's kind of you got to go to school you got to get a job you got to go to college you got to get a good paying career when really you you don't need you don't need college you don't need formal education to go and do something creative you know but even not just on an educational stance, it's like they're being taught through their phones. Like, like you can teach them one thing in stand up lecture style class, but their phones are teaching them that they only should feel good about themselves if they're liked by other people. So like not having enough likes equates to sadness. So it's like, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta be popular. I gotta do this. And it's like poisoning the young mind, you know? So raise it up, This is a clever way on touching on a lot of different like topics that, that are not controversial topics, but topics that people have like either polarizing opinions or, or their political topics or what this is. This video is doing a clever. It's kind of doing what like uh, what Childish Gambino did in This Is America video where there you no know, where he touched on a lot of very significant things in culture or in the American way. Like this scene right here with the little girl peering through the peering through the fish tank and is being polluted and we got oil spills and we got cans and plastic in the water. And then this scene right right here where we're sitting in front of the TV and then the war is going on behind them. Like there's distance between you and the TV. So there's distance between you and the war when really in actuality, it's not that far away. You feel you feel a sense of comfort in just sitting there watching the TV, watching the war, but it's actually happening. It's real life behind you. It's not just TV, you know? camera held on that one a little too long. I don't know why we held that long on this scene right here, especially after the music dropped. I thought that thought that the camera was going to change with it.
I don't know if this scene right here is a take on like medical, like 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 we're shorthanded on nurses, we're shorthanded on on medical, but for some reason there's a lot of money within big within big, big pharmaceuticals, or if these people just had surgeries. Because I saw the first people like when we first started spinning around, they were blinded from like everything that's right in front of them, from letting them see like the way the world actually is. You know, there, there's a lot of, there's a lot that could be talked about of this music video and the lyrics. There's a lot that could be talked about as lyrics as well, but I feel like the the lyrics match exactly with what the music video is saying. So the music video and the lyrics together which might be cryptic on their own it's like they it's like they interlock together and then they they just they form this one clear opinion i'm sick of the sound i'm sick of the how we've been dealt sick from the drugs that they tell me to take i'm sick of the drugs that we take to rebel I'm sick of corruption and wealth I'm sick of corruption itself yo he said i'm sick of the drugs that they tell us to take i'm sick of the drugs that we, i'm sick of the drugs that we take to rebel Dog, that was that's a that's a bar right there. He said serves you right to justify the face that keeps you up at night, the mask you wear to cover it up, and and I and I can see inside your eyes, bro. That's dope. It's heavy. I'm sick of the how we've been dealt. Sick from the drugs that they tell me to take. I'm sick of the drugs that we take to rebel. I'm sick of corruption and wealth. I'm sick of corruption itself. I'm sick of division and color religion when we're all the same. We're all the same. We're all the same. That whole part right there, that whole bridge was fucking fire. I'm sick of corruption and wealth, but not even that. I'm just sick of corruption itself. Like, like wealthy people are gonna be corrupt at a certain level of greed. Like, like something in them just just changes to where to where they have that corrupt mentality and they'll do anything for money. But fuck that. Like, even on the lower level, just corruption in general is like, how does that like how we should be looking out for each other, much less taking advantage of each other? I'm sick of division and color and religion. Like, at the end, we're all the same. Like. It's fucking true as shit. Everybody is the same, but that goes back to the corruption that corrupts and taints a, a specific mind, and then that mind taints other minds, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we're a divided species. See, and then the political figure like like putting on a facade for you but then they show what's happening really behind the scenes he's drunk he's doing drugs he's tight he's talking to hookers you know he's cheating on his wife and he's like yo i'm innocent of all this but you can clearly see the blood on his hands dope <laughs> You know what I like most about this scene, other than the actual breakdown in the music? Like we had the smooth tracking dolly shot like I was talking about in the beginning, but we don't cut from it to go to the handheld shot. Like the dolly shot, I just spit like crazy. <laughs> the dolly shot is tracking forward smoothly like during like during the buildup. And then when it drops, like the person just takes it off of the dolly and holds it by hand, like adding a sense of hecticness within the shot. That's done amazing. See like that dolly shot going straight. And then they take it off, start shaking it. It's tight. Woo! That breakdown of that of those, I don't even know which drums those are. It's not the snare, obviously. I don't know what they're called. I would normally call them quads, like like an like an actual high school band or college band. But they're doo 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 doo. That triplet. Right there. Yeah. Bro, music video right there, that right there was dope. Like all these rock requests that I've gotten so far, hold on, who did this one come from again? Atreos, Atreos, I forgot, uh, yeah, yeah. So yo, bro, I appreciate this request. I would have never even listened to this band if it wasn't, I think I, I think I called them antisocial at first and the song was While She Sleeps, but I think the band name, if I'm not mistaken, is While She Sleeps and the song is antisocial. That makes way more sense. But yo, I would have never even, rock is not like the, I like it, but it's not something that I go out and like, and purposely search for. I'm not going out to try to find new rock. You know what I'm saying? If it stumbles upon my, if it's something, if I stumble upon it and I like it, I'll add it, but I'm not searching for it. So people requesting rock, it's allowing me to expand the genre selection. But on top of that, it's introducing me to new music. You know, that's dope. That's what I love doing this for.
But yo, that brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing. If you like what you see enough enough, please consider subscribing to the Patreon because the Patreon is what makes the channel go. Like Atreus here, you, you could get a you could get a, a request in if you decide to subscribe at the tier that it, that allows that. But if you just if you don't want to do that, if you just want to support me monetarily and you're in the monetary position to do so, and you want to support the channel and where we can go, the Patreon is really the thing that allows me to make these videos at a constant base consistent basis like this so if you're someone who potentially wants to join the patreon fam i would greatly appreciate it follow your boy on instagram and on twitter at the third earnest just like the channel links are down in the description below hit up the discord also linked in the description below if you want to talk to me that's probably going to be the best place to do it but that's all that i got for you today ladies and gentlemen like i always say at the end of the videos i appreciate your time go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and i'll catch everybody in the next video peace